Hi there, so I'm just going to briefly go over some of the different modes of my digital multi-tool. So first you have like a typical bubble level, so you can see as I roll a multi-tool it gives you the angle of tilt. Next we have an XY uh, roll, so as I tilt the multi-tool in two directions it gives you the angle of displacement. Uh, then we have a protractor. So if I hit zero and then move it like this, you can see it gives you the angle of rotation. Next, we have a non-contact ruler. So as I move my hand different distances away, you can see it gives you uh, the distance measurement. And I also have a handy measure marker, which has a couple of magnets built in, which you can detach in the multi-tool and give you a place to measure to. Uh, next we have a wheel ruler which um, uses this wheel on the side of the multi-tool so you can roll this against something and get the measurement useful for measuring curved objects or oddly shaped objects. Uh, next we have a tachyometer which reads RPM. It also uses this wheel on the side so once you hit go uh, it will start reading uh, uh, whatever rotating object you have. And then once you stop, it will give you an RPM reading. So then we have a, a non-contact thermometer, which is on the back side of the unit. So right now it's reading the temperature of the table. And it reads both the an object temperature over a wide area and also the temperature of the ambient uh, surroundings, which is uh, the sensor body. So next we have a non-contact IR tachyometer. So this is for if you don't want to hold the multi-tool up to something because it's spinning really fast or something. And uh, you basically attach a piece of IR tape to the object. You adjust this knob until you reach the reach the right threshold. You can see more details in the instructions in the Instructable. And it will also read RPM just like the wheel tachyometer. Next we have a straight laser pointer, which is very straightforward. You just turn it on or off. And so that's all the modes. Um, the the multi-tool is powered by a rechargeable battery which you can recharge either using the solar panel up here or just using a straight USB input. Very straightforward. Uh, it does, the display looks a lot better in real life. The camera kind of has made it fuzzy. I don't know. Um, that's pretty much everything. You can read more details in the instructable below. I hope uh, if you do make this, you find it useful. Thank you.